right, great. Well, let's go ahead and kick off. So um, really excited to be chatting today uh, with the WIA, um, and we'll just kick right off. So if you're not familiar with who Insured Mine is, we are a sales CRM and marketing automation platform, uh, basically an add-on to your agency management system. It's going to help with your sales and marketing, your pipeline management, kind of an all-in-one solution. So what does that mean? Um, this slide is basically to share, uh, we've built integrations with just about age, every agency management system uh, in the market. Uh, there's you know, probably a 95% chance that you're using one of the ones above. And we feel that the agency management system is really great for policies, accounting, and commission. But when it comes to sales, marketing, and automation, um, there's some things left to be desired. So a lot of agencies out there are going to start looking for technology around their AMS, and they're going to look for a CRM, probably some marketing and automation, uh, other tools like Google reviews, texting, e-sign, email calendar integration, that type of stuff into their uh, agency management system. We are an all-in-one platform for that. Um, and then bi-directional with most of the AMSs that you see above um, to, to supercharge the agency. So um, but the purpose of today's webinar is not just to pitch insured mine, it's to educate a little bit um, and, and help you all. And it's I've got some super buzzwordy words on the, the screen right now, process optimi optimization and automation of the customer journey. Um, hopefully we can have some fun going through this today. I'll teach you a little bit about what other agencies are doing and, and whether you decide to work with us or not, um, hopefully you learn a thing or two. So why are we talking about this? Well, this is what the top networks and agencies in the country are doing. I just put a couple of our thousand agencies that are working with us today. Um, so you may notice some of these are networks, some of these are insurance agencies, some are kind of combined. Um, but what they're doing is um, really systemizing their business. And around that, they're like every agency in the country and every go-to-market organization. And they're saying to themselves, we aren't selling enough. Um, if you're you know, completely content with where you are as a business, you're probably in the wrong webinar right now. Um, but you know, we always say here at Insured Mind, you know, there's always more that we can be doing to grow our organization. We can always be more efficient. Um, and the agencies that we work with are typically the same way. Uh, they feel like they can grow more and they can do more things to, to grow their business, especially with where we are in the market right now. It's a very hard market. Uh, very hard to hire talent, uh, and we just need to do more with less. So let's talk a little bit about how we can do that. But before we do that, let's talk about why automation, this process optimization is important. Well, about a third of our time as salespeople, as CSRs is actually spent selling today, if you can believe that. A lot of times we're doing the same repetitive tasks over and over and over again. We're typing multiple things into multiple systems that don't need to be typed. Um, a lot of this manual work is actually preventing high value employees from doing their job every day, which is to, to sell, right? So that's where automation and process optimization comes in. It's, it's going to give you more orange in this entire pipeline that we talk about here um, and more time to sell, which equals more growth, right? So a couple of metrics that I'll talk about um, as we go through things. So if you look at, at Starbucks, for example, uh, and I just take this because everybody knows Starbucks, I've got a Starbucks cup right here. Um, their lifetime value of a customer is, is $14,000. That means over a time, if they can convert Christine to go from a Dunkin' Donuts customer to a Starbucks customer that yields them $14,000 in revenue over time, right? So they're not selling a $5 cup of coffee. They're selling $14,000 worth of value to you when they earn your business. It costs them $3,500 to get you as a customer of Starbucks. Again, they're not selling a $5 cup of coffee. They don't really care about that. They care about your business over and over and over again. It's the same with us as insurance agencies, right? For me, you know, I'm a younger guy. I may not have the biggest portfolio of insurance today, right? But you can sell me home insurance. You can sell me car insurance. But over time, as I get older and I grow and I refer you to people, I own businesses, I, I 
create a family and have, you know, there is a lifetime value of insurance that can be brought in from bringing me in one time as an individual. So let's think about this, right? The importance of bringing in as many customers as you can over time is not just selling them that one insurance policy to start with. It's the opportunity over a lifetime with that customer and their network that you have, which makes identifying our process, nailing it down and automating what we can to create a larger bucket that much more important. So these may be numbers that you know in your own agency, they may not, um, but a good CAC to LTV is anywhere from three to seven. Obviously, um, Starbucks has theirs dialed in. So wanted to talk about just some fun numbers, um, some important things. Obviously, the goal again here is to sell more, uh, to increase that lifetime value, to decrease that cost to acquire a customer and be more efficient overall. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, when agencies come to me and we start talking about process optimization and automation, I ask them, what does their customer journey look like? And you may be saying, what is a customer journey? A customer journey is what an individual would go through when they interact with your agency, right? So somehow you're gonna capture them as a lead. You're going to find them, right? Whether it's through an internet search, it's through they're coming into your website. It's they talk to Christine down the street at a barbecue and they said, you just got to work with XYZ agency. They're the best. You need to figure out, all right, how are leads coming me today to me today? If you don't understand all the ways that they're coming to you, you probably can't optimize that process, right? Then you're going to say, all right, when a lead comes in, what happens with it, right? Are we emailing it? Are we texting it? Is there, is there any process within that that I can formalize across my team and make it more efficient, right? We're going to nurture that lead, right? That lead doesn't really become an opportunity until it raises its hand. He, she, them raises their hand and says, okay, I have intent to buy your product, right? Because all day long, I can look at that Starbucks sign as I'm work, walking to work but I'm not really in the sales funnel until I start, until I walk in, right? And I say, hey, I, I may want a cup of coffee. I may want to buy insurance. Then we get them into the sales funnel. And the sales funnel is what we're going to call a pipeline today. That is the set of stages that happen when they are evaluating you to make a decision, right? They're going to say, all right, I now have a need. I've identified myself as an opportunity. And these are stages that you would put them through as you're trying to close them. Maybe it's as simple as lead, quote, bind. Maybe with commercial insurance, it's eight stages long. But we're going to want to define those. And then you're either going to win that opportunity. You're going to lose that opportunity where you'd onboard them or you try and win them back in the future. And either way, your, your goal is to win them and then renew them over and over again. So the reason I, I bring this up, this may seem very juvenile, or maybe it seems very you know robust. We have to define what those stages in are. We have to define what happens in those stages for us to be able to optimize those. So that's one thing we will work on you with if you are an insured mind customer. Hey, how are all your leads coming in? What do you want to do with them when they come in? What should you be doing? And how much more efficient can we make that today? So the question becomes, what if every time a lead came in, they had six to seven touch points in them? What if every time they move for this from through the sales funnel or through the renewal process, your process was followed every time? What do you think would happen to your agency growth? What do you think would happen to that lifetime value of a customer? And I guarantee you the answer is they would increase, right? So what does that mean? And what is automation? This is a buzzword we hear all the time. We hear AI, we hear automation. What does it mean for us on a daily basis in our daily life? Let's talk about some of the things that you can automate today. So when you're pulling something into a system, it creates a record, right? When Christine Rao gets into somebody's leads or somebody's funnel, right? You can automate the creation of that record in a CRM or an agency management system. And the way that you can do that is by using a web form, this is a tool that we have, um, a, an API to pull in through a lead vendor that you may be buying leads from. So you're not typing this lead in 
numerous times. The other way is you don't need to type it into seven different systems, right? So if you have an integration with an agency management system through your CRM, I click a button or I automatically say, hey, I want all my leads to pass to my agency management system when I create that record. Great. Let's say I'm sending an email. I'm sending a text. I can do that through the system that I'm working in, like the insured mind CRM, and it's going to automatically record that activity in the system. So I can look back and see a timeline of, oh, I sent them an email last year, July 27th at 10 a.m. I don't have to go drag and drop that. Again, with certain integrations that we have, we can pass that data through to an agency management system. So you're not having to go do that in AMS 360 and QQ and whatever agency management system that you use. Again, data entry, just like a record creation, if you're using one of our web forms to, to actually fill something out, it can enter data into these systems across things outside of just creating the record, but updating that record with things like vehicle information, custom fields that you might want in there, right? One of the big ones is communication of uh, automation communication. What I mean by that is, hey, every time a lead comes in, we want to send them an email from the agent that it's assigned to and a text message just saying, hey, we're super excited to work with you. We're going to be working on your quote. Reach out here if you have any questions. I guarantee that a lot of manual emails are being sent out every time. Uh, if you're not using a CRM, this automated communication doesn't have to be a paragraph. It can look like a text message, very simple, but it, it keeps up, it keeps you top of mind. And a lot of prospects take seven to nine touch points before they're actually going to move into the funnel if you're, if you're targeting a cold lead. So the amount of times that we need to actually follow up with people and that number is growing is pretty high. I'll kind of bucket lead management automation into communication automation, but if you were to separate the two, communication automation could be people that have already bought from you. It could be, hey, 90 days from renewal, we're going to send them these six different touch points. It could be, hey, we understand this is an auto, but not home prospect or buyer. Hey, we're going to hit them with cross-sell automation talking about the value of that. Automated guidance can be around how they best work with you, right? Hey, when you have a support request, hey, when you need information on this type of coverage, this is how you do that with our agency. You can automate those processes. You can automate that communication around what they do when to best work with your agency. And then again, automated sales and renewals. You can get to the point where these are completely automated. We're 90 days ahead of renewal. It's sending out renewal automation. They're going to fill out some sort of form to give you that information. You go buying the policy through the carrier website. That download hits us. It updates the system in our system. Um, and you've got this entire process nailed down. So a couple different types of automation that you may be doing today. You may not. But this is, is some of the stuff that you can get going on today. So the ingredients for automation, integrating your email and calendar, right? These are table stakes so that when you're sending out an email, it records, being able to see your calendar around your, what you're doing today, being able to upload and add documents, the phone and texting component, being able to call and text from a platform. So it's logging so you can see those records, automating tasks based on different deal stages. So again, process is followed every time making sure certain data points sync every time you're working in certain systems. And then the integration between your agency management system, your VoIP system, everything in between is going to be very, very key for these things to work. So when you look for any sort of automation, any sort of vendor, you may want to check the boxes and say, hey, can I do these seven things? Does it have these? Are these the ones that I want? Are these the ones that I'm focused on? Hey, does it have the ingredients that I want from automation? This is what you're going to find the most valuable because you're not doing these same repetitive tasks in multiple systems. They're all connected and they all speak to one another to allow you to, to automate some of the stuff that we've talked about. All right. Some of the further things that you can do outside of you know those individual ones we already talked about, um, you win or lose a deal, a certain automation kicks off. You put a tag on a certain deal, an automation kicks off. Hey, when it moves from my sales pipeline to my CSR pipeline, it automatically assigns to a new person. These sorts of things you can do, you can set up, and they're happening every time. So ind individuals, again, aren't, 
aren't doing this every time you know they're in a certain bucket. Uh, you know they need to go to the CSR team. That handoff is happening. All sorts of fun stuff that can happen there. So I've talked very high level about this sort of thing, but let's talk about how it can work in a real environment. So this is an example of a personal lines pipeline. So we've set up deal stages. We talked about that sales funnel, which is a part of my entire customer journey. So these are deal cards. Deal cards are opportunities to close business. They contain contacts, accounts, and opportunities to close policies. Um, looks like we have a question from Dan Mahoney. Um, if you want to type that in, uh, you should be able to do that in the chat. I think the chat is enabled. Okay, Dan. Yeah, let us know what you got um, there. So we do have this pipeline here. And there's a number of ways that leads can come in. So to create this deal card, we could bring it in via a web form. So I'm going to show you quickly what that looks like. Can you close the extra windows? It's hard to see the demo screen. Uh, I've just got this one open. Is that? I can close that one. Okay, yeah. Sweet. So I'll show you an example of a form here from a current customer. So somebody could post this uh, form on their website. They could text or email it out. And then when it's filled out, we can see your and Christine. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can hide this. Hmm. Christine, I just don't think we're that pretty. I, I, uh, I'm taking up too much of the... Um, okay. I cannot, uh, cannot remove that here. Let me see. Oh, okay. I'm going to put it as far to the top as I can. Okay. It should have just been removed. Great. Hey, Tucker. Yep. I think they can do that themselves down at the bottom left. I think they can change the look of their screen. Maybe that would help. Okay, Dan. It looks good for my end though. Okay. Awesome, Dan. It looks like you used the slide and it, and it moved. Okay, great. So Using a form here, this can be used on your website. This can be used by uh, an individual. A lot of people call this like a quote sheet, a quote form at an insurance agency. I found that more, more savvy agencies that I work with are using this. When I fill out data on this form, it can actually take that data and create a deal card, create a contact, create an account in the insured mind system. So it's then going to actually drop that lead into the pipeline here in the system where I'd see, okay, this is now an opportunity to close business. I can always go back to that form and update it and sync it and update data in the system, but the, that's the way that it can start and it can work between the insured or whoever you're, you're working with. I can also come in and key in a deal here, or as I mentioned, if you're working with some sort of lead vendor, we can automatically put those leads in your system. The reason we do this is one, to organize, and then two, I'm gonna show you behind the scenes what would happen in each one of these deal stages. So totally up to you how many deal stages you might have, what happens in each deal stage, but I'm going to show you some automation behind this. So let's say that form is filled out or I key in a deal. Immediately as I do that, that prospect can then receive an email, receive a text immediately from the system, from the agent that it's supposed to come from. Great. Now we've just taken away 15, 20 minutes every time a lead comes in. Why is that important? Let's say your agency is bringing in 100 leads a month and you're spending 10 to 15 minutes contacting them with a manual email every time they come in. That's 1,500 minutes that you just saved across your agency on one deal stage. Great. But we've got five deal stages. So let's say they move from suspect to prospect where they actually come in and say, I have intent to buy. I drag and drop this deal card, a new email, new text, a checklist can spit out, a task can spit out based on the deal stage that we've done. So in each one of these stages, we can have systemized processes, and I'll show you what those systemized processes might be. It might be an email, a text, a task, a checklist of things we need to do, an assignment to another person, a handwritten note card or ringless voicemail, all of these things to stay top of mind, and again, automate what you can. So we would create those deal stages all the way through the funnel, and create different automations, customizable automations. They're, they can be um, 
with your agency, your branding, all that fun stuff. Great. So while this is happening, and a, an automated email is going out, a checklist is spitting out, we're creating a nice, neat timeline of everything that's happening in the system. So it's automating that kind of record keeping and record creation. So every time an email is sent out, whether it's manual, it's automatic, and I can take notes, I can send emails, I can call, I can text from the platform. It records in the, in the system here to say this has happened. So when you're going back to this in the future, you're not having to ask yourself what you did previously. At a certain time, I'm probably going to quote or bind this, and I want this in my agency management system where I can actually see the data there. So as I mentioned earlier, we do integrate with a wide variety of agency management systems. And let's say it's NowCerts, for example. I would have a NowCerts logo on this deal card, on the contact, on the account. I'd click a button, and that contact and that shell would now be available in NowCerts. I would then go to NowCerts, go to the, the bind policy, wherever that may be, find that policy. It now matches up with that shell and that contact that I've created with NowCerts. And we're actually going to automatically pull that policy data down from the agency management system. So again, now you can see I'm, I'm automating emails, text during the sales process. I'm automating putting this into my agency management system. I'm automating pulling policy data down from the agency management system. Uh, I may have integrated my VoIP system where I'm calling texting from my Ring Central number, my Lightspeed number. I'm sending automated text emails through my Outlook or my, my uh, VoIP system. All these things are connected, automated based on my deal stages. Great. So let's say we have won the deal. It would then be an active customer. But let's say we've lost the deal. So I come in, I'm trying to work with Tucker Hood. Tucker Hood says, no, not today, but maybe in the future. I can set an X date. Let's set an X date out in the future. I can tell it to remind me 30 days, or I could have some sort of automation that says, all right, any X date I've got, I want to reach out 90 days ahead of time with this X date automation. And I can build that through this engagement module. So we are a full-on marketing automation system that can do email campaigns, text campaigns, or automations. And these automations can be based on a wide variety of things. So hey, we've got a renewal coming up. Since we pull all your agency management system data down, 90 days ahead of a renewal, they can receive a plethora of automations. Hey, we lost that deal in the past. We put an X date on them. It's going to reach out automatically from that sales rep who had the deal based on the X date you have. Other cool things, if you're selling life insurance, maybe clients turning 65, maybe you're looking for Google reviews, you're looking to, for the warm and fuzzies like a happy birthday, all these things can be automated. So this automation, I'll show you what setting one up looks like. Let's say during policy renewal, I want to email and text them 60 days ahead of time. Here's an example of an email that might go out and it can populate with automated information. So these, what we call merge tags, are another way to automate. So we know their first name, right? We know it's 90 days away from expiring based on the fact that we have a renewal day. We can actually insert those automatically to an email without you having to touch it, make it come from bob at agencynames.com email and automate that process for him. So he's not reaching out 90 days ahead, putting all this manual information into the system that's just flowing out. So he can focus on picking up the phone and actually getting that renewal done. From here, I want to text him right after that. Could be a quick text message saying, hey, I just emailed you. We're 90 days away from renewal. Call me. Let's chat. You can make that as robust or as simple as you want. So again, a number of pieces of automations that you can do in the engagement section here. Um, let's say we wanted to build a list. This is a really fun one. So you may be dealing with this if you're in Florida or California. You're seeing carriers drop out like crazy. So you want to come in. You want to look at all my accounts that have a certain policy carrier. And I'm just going to pick a couple of them here that I know we can't really support anymore. Let me pick a, pick a few others that actually have data under them. All right. And it, 
typically this would be more robust, but this is dummy data. You'd see an entire list of every agency ev or every account that you had under your agency with that policy carrier. You could save that as a live list. And then you could automate communication to that group saying, hey, I know you're, you're going through a tough time. We're not able to, to support farmers, state farm anymore. Please reach out so we can get you requoted. So the list building functionality in the system based on accounts, based on states, carriers, certain lines of businesses, certain agents allow you to, to quantify a universe of, of who you should be reaching out to. And then you have the tools to actually target them through text communication, email communications from this section. One of the other great things that we can do that I mentioned is automate Google reviews. So if you're not doing Google reviews today, definitely something that you should be doing. This is only going to layer on more and more um, help with that cost to acquire a customer because people will actually search for you online and find you based on your high number of Google reviews. So you can automate this process based on, hey, they signed up, let's do it now, or hey, I want to do it 90 days before renewal, um, and automate that process of pulling it into our system, sending them out, getting them recorded. Um, the other thing that we can automate is dashboarding, right? So once you start using something like the pipeline, we can automate dashboards that tell you, hey, we had this many leads come in. We, we had this amount of, of deals, this amount of revenue that was brought in by agents, right? As I'm looking across my agents, you don't want to be you know typing this into a spreadsheet manually every time. Uh, this data can be automated either by putting it in the pipeline and reporting off of it, or the data that we pull directly down from the agency management system, or both. So if you're doing a lot of Excel spreadsheets, you're pulling data from multiple sources today, the CRM is typically a place that you can aggregate that across your systems and then report off of it from there. So again, at a high level, you're, you're probably going, hey, that's, that's a lot, right? Uh, we want to focus really on sales, your pipeline management. We want to focus on post-sale. Hey, what can I automate? Cross-sell campaigns, renewals, these things that people are going through every time. And then the data that we're trying to track every day, how do I automate that? And how do I create processes around this to make that super easy? Again, going back and whether it's on, um, let me go back to my slide here. Uh, if you take away anything from this, whether it's doing it on the back of a napkin, if, if you can get a, a flow down of what you wanna happen and, and all these different processes, um, you know, that's a great start. Um, the other place to do that is with Insured Mind with us. We will work with you to help define these processes, what should happen in each process, and really make sure that that the process is optimized and you're automating what you should. So um, I've been talking for about 30 minutes straight. I'm sure everybody is, is probably uh, ready to stop hearing me talking for a little bit. So I do want to open it up for Q&A. Uh, if there's any questions, anything I missed, um, would love to answer them now. Okay, seems like no questions. So I must have either done really well or really bad, hopefully somewhere in between. Um, but I do have a gift for everybody here. So um, if you are a WIA member and you've watched this webinar, um, we do, and this is for new customers that are coming in, and this is for the rest of the year, uh, we do have special pricing for you. So you'd be at $79 per user per month if you pay that annually, $72 per user per month if you pay that annually. Maybe I said the first one wrong, uh, monthly. Um, so this is special pricing for WIA agencies uh, through the rest of the year. So the way that you can contact us, uh, you can go to our website, you can fill out a form. We use our, our own system so that form will automate a leads to us. Um, you can reach out to me directly, uh, tucker at insuredmind.com. Um, and hopefully this webinar has been educational. Um, again, at the end of the day, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So making sure you have processes in place to measure sales, to measure renewals, uh, to measure what you can automate, what you should be automating um, is always the key to be more efficient. So 
with that, um, we'll go ahead and end the webinar. Uh, unless Christine, you've got anything that I should share uh, at the end here. Hey, Tucker. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Yep. Thank you so much. This is such a dynamic product. Um, how about how long does it take to, you know, for someone to have this um, customized and up and running? Yeah, it absolutely does not happen overnight, um, but you can have pipelines set up, automation set up in, in one to three months. Um, it depends on how robust you want to get with it. Uh, obviously, you know, a, a simple impl implementation as opposed to, hey, we're designing every single process with 10 automations per stage um, is different than, you know, an email and text when a lead coming in and a renewal uh, automation. So um, can happen, you know, within a matter of months, you can have this set up. Um, the other thing too, uh, if you work multiple lines of business, you may want to create multiple processes for that, for employee benefits, for life, for personal uh, for, for commercial, um, we can help you with those processes across um, your different lines that you sell. Excellent. Thank you so much. Um, thank you everyone for attending and hopefully we'll have the recording up soon on our website. Yep. Um, we'll absolutely send out the recording here. Ruan, uh, do we get a recording? Yes, we can definitely send out a recording to Christine and she can distribute. Um, and always happy to chat one-on-one, -on -one, as I mentioned, if we can be of service. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tucker. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Bye-bye.